What's the best water pressure gauge? Well, if you're like me, you only need it on occasion and none of your neighbors have one. You wanna check the water pressure in your house to verify you do or do not have a leak. In this case, in my humble opinion, the best water pressure gauge is a fluid-filled one. We're going to go over both the pros and the cons of a dry versus fluid-filled water pressure gauge. I'm Margaret Roush, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about DIY smart home and other home-related stuff, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Next week's video is all about how to use a water pressure gauge to detect a leak on your house with a follow-on culmination video, what we've been building towards on all of the different methods that you can use to detect a leak. I didn't have a water pressure gauge before because I have Fin Plus, a water monitor and shutoff system. So I needed one, none of my neighbors had one, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I went on Amazon, as many of us do, and started doing research. Just $10 gets you a decent list of gauges. But when you start reading the reviews, many of them are, well, cheap. Now, I'm not gonna expect a lot for something in that range. You get what you pay for. But I noticed some of the same problems over and over in the reviews. It only works once. It gets filled with water. It reads wrong. It seems like a liquid-filled pressure gauge would address some of these problems, or at least have a better chance. Now, I wanna clarify, I'm saying fluid-filled. Some people say oil-filled. They aren't the same thing, but many times, that's just what it's called. Many gauges are filled with glycerin, occasionally silicone, and rarely something else. Here are the benefits of a liquid-filled gauge. The fluid steadies the needle. If you have noise in the line causing vibration, the needle in a dry gauge will bounce erratically, making it difficult to pinpoint where the needle is exactly pointing on the gauge. Fluid helps increase the life of a pressure gauge, lubricating the mechanical parts. Here in Arizona, that could be a con. If the vent plug fails, the glycerin will be as hard as a rock in no time. Related to both those positives, a dry pressure gauge could get stuck, and after a 15-minute closed-loop pressure test, you should tap the gauge to verify the reading is correct. This is less necessary with the fluid lubricating the gauge. Here are the drawbacks of a liquid-filled gauge. The glycerin can change color, a yellowish tint, darkening over time with UV exposure and temperature changes. Leakage. There's always the risk of a leak. Temperature changes can also change the pressure reading. Fluid is more susceptible to temperature changes, causing the liquid to expand or contract, which then causes the pressure to build up in the case. While the fluctuation is not very much, it affects the accuracy of the reading. One way to get around this, if you need precision accuracy, is to cut the tip off as recommended, or to prevent leakage, don't cut the tip and instead use a screwdriver to let in a little air through the vent plug before each time you use it, essentially recalibrating the gauge. Glycerin is also temperature sensitive. Less than 20 degrees Fahrenheit will start messing with your gauge. If you keep one in place over the summer, make sure to add removing the gauge on your winterization list. Surprisingly, an oil fill gauge still hovers around the $10 mark. However, if you search for an oil filled water pressure gauge, you'll notice that most of them have a quarter inch MPT connector, which of course will not fit on a hose bib. That's why I went with this gauge because it comes with a coupling to make that connection. I will admit, I looked around for this kind of coupling myself with no luck before thinking, you know, my time is valuable enough for just a couple dollars more to buy this gauge in particular with the coupling and get this video going. The good news is you can still use it on whatever other project needs a three quarter inch NTP connector, but you will have to put this particular one together yourself. I recommend putting three or four layers of Teflon tape on before tightening it up with an adjustable wrench or two, or whatever size wrench this is. I just happened to know where the adjustable wrenches were at the time. On the inside, it has a nice O-ring to seal at the hose bib. In any case, this seems like a decent enough answer, and it's worked well for the dozen or so times that I've used it. Oh, hey neighbor, do I have a water pressure gauge? I do now, here you go. Question time for you. Do you have any recommendations for a water pressure gauge? Good or bad, add them in the comments below. You can check out the unboxing for this water pressure gauge here. Whoever does an unboxing video of a water pressure gauge? Serious time now. Next week's video is all about how to use this water pressure gauge to detect leaks within a home. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday.